Hey, 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 it's Lisa, Fossil Finding Female, here on the 25th of March, 2024. And I'm wanting to show you some more of these cool, interesting, fascinating, amazing stones, fossils, tools, whatever they may be. It doesn't matter to me what they are. I think they're very cool and fascinating. A lot of them I do think look like tools, and I'll tell you one of the ones I do think look like tools. But a lot of them are just really cool, amazing. I find so many of the same, like I find a lot of these. So I think it's a tool. It kind of looks like a tool. Hope you're doing well. We're hanging in there. Um, you know, my mom was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and it has spread. We're going the um, homeopathic way. I'll try to keep you updated. And thanks for the prayers for those that have prayed. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know what it is, but it's very smooth and it looks like a shape like a heart. So I had to grab it, of course. But of course... Anyway, thank you guys for the prayers. Uh, we're, you know, we're doing master mineral solution and um, some uh, flax whole lignin, which I just realized I forgot to put down on my description on my ZZ Easy channel. Dang it, that's so hard for me to remember for some reason. Hope you guys are having better memory than I am. My goodness, it's been difficult to remember things. I think it's from all those toxins in our environments these days. But I do find peace and serenity when I just go out and look for cool fossils or, you know, different tools. Um, and now I'm trying to just organize them all. Uh, which is, you know, trying to get all the tools together, all the similarities. It takes a while, though. All the things that I think are biology versus geology. Does that look like some sort of tool? They're always so amazing to look at, even if I've looked at them a hundred times, but I haven't looked at all of these. I just picked them up, put them in my bag, and then that's the fun part of looking, looking at them later. But see how right here it looks like it's been um, worked? Very, very interesting. Isn't that odd and interesting? One side would have like the face, the eye. The other side is kind of flat, like it was a mud fossil from the flood, Noah's flood. Everything was covered. Not weird, I mean, it's in the exact place it would be. It looks like some, a head of something to me. But I know that uh, mainstream academia will say it's a geofact. And a geofact is something the Earth makes over millions and millions and billions of years, which I also don't believe the Earth is at all. But that's just my opinion. Um, boy, it's chilly willy here. It's kind of getting windy and cold. When the sun's out, it's great. Otherwise, not so great. Another one that looks like a tool. So I find so many of these. They really do look like they've been worked. Find a lot of these too. Not really sure what they used to be or, or is now. I don't know. That looks like a tool. I've got some really good ones inside I will show you. I was going to do one last night and just never to get around to doing it. Uh, this cancer stuff can just make you, even if it's not affecting you so much as far as physically, it still does affect you physically, mentally, emotionally. It's a drain strain, I tell you. Uh, but this, to me, looks like a head of something that has fossilized.
this kind of did too. Wait, this right here? I don't know. Very, very interesting. I actually was going to um, finish what I started two days ago over there. Um, that too looks like a tool. But it may not be. I don't know. I wished, I wished we did know all the secrets of the earth and but then we wouldn't have fun looking for them and seeking them out, seeking them out, right? Hmm, let's see what we got in here. Let's... Pretty color. Look how pretty that color is. Yes, come out, sun. Come out, come out, come out. I love the sunshine. It's so amazing. That's why I moved here because usually it's sunny in New Mexico, that is. And this one looks like it's been worked too. If you look at it, let me get to where you can actually see. It's very sharp. one that has like stuff inside there see that is like that is actually like it looks like it could have been an eye I don't know about this one. It could just be a blob of, you know, I don't know what you'd say, but it looks kind of like it was an organ of some, some sort that has fossilized. I say, hmm, 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 hmm. These days we have to think outside of the box, really we do, because we're all we're kind of trained wrong. I, I mean, they, they give you half-truths, I believe. They meaning the academia. I went to school for a nurse. And they didn't teach you how wonderful your body is and how it can um, withstand a lot. And no, they teach you about drugs and uh, how to administer them um, for every symptom, not ever getting to the core of the problem, the actual problem that's causing the symptoms. So with that knowledge, I do believe we're not told and taught everything. So whether you're in geology or anthropology or any of those, I think that they keep a lot of the truth from us so we kind of have to do our own research we should research everything not just believe what they tell us because i think that's why we're in the situation we're in now we thought our government was going to be good to us and actually we're finding out that's not so and not everyone in government is doing that but uh, you know because if they keep it so compartmentalized that no one knows what the heck is going on in the other other person's profession or job it's just so compartmentalized that's how they get away with all this stuff um, this also looks like a tool. Let's 
see how long the bridge is there. Oh, fine. They sure uh, were able to improvise and make some amazing things, even if they're not, you know, some are better than others. Um, they still wish we knew how to do all that kind of stuff. Huh? We're learning. That looks like a nose right there, an eye and an eye or something, but um, mouth here possibly. Huh. But who knows? Some of these I want to um, tumble and see what they look like after the tumble because it's amazing transformation. Get all that silt and gunk off of them. Wow, we're already on 11 minutes. The file went, it goes so fast. Now it kind of looks like limestone, but. I'm still learning all these. There's so many out there. And again, I don't think they've even, they don't even know what they all are. How can they? How can they test every single thing that's in the on the ground? They don't. And I'm going to figure out how to test these things and uh, test them myself. Because it's intriguing to me. But I guess uh, it's already time to say adios, amigos. I don't know. Um, I like to try to keep it at uh, the 10 minutes. I'll go to 15 this time. We've got three more minutes. But it seems to upload and everything so much quicker. And no problems. With less time. This hand is getting a little... Oh, and here's another one that looks like um, it was worked. See? There's a place for the thumb here. Boy, that kind of looks like chewing gum that's fossilized. Nice shape of a heart right there. That looks kind of like bone in there to me, but um, again, I'm not for sure. I'm not. This looks like it was a tool. If you guys know, please leave it in the comment. Let me know what you guys know, because um, a lot of people know or have learned a lot more than I have for sure. I'm just looking at these and seeing some uh, mighty amazing coincidences, I guess, which I don't really believe in coincidences, and, but that look like, you know, the heads of birds or the reptilian type heads. Um, and so I'm questioning what is really the truth, but it's fun just to look at these and to share them with you and hopefully you will um comment on any of these you might know or have you know suggestions or ideas or if you know how to test these that would be amazing i have quite a variety to look at as you can see this one's nice and nice. trying to get the all these ones like these are really soft and beautiful like that smooth when i keep them in one place it's, it is a chore when you have so many, and I keep wanting to go out and find more, because that is part of the fun of rock hounding, fossil finding, um, is going out and looking for these things and seeing what you can find. It's important we do a little bit of what we enjoy doing in our lives, even if we're stricken with by a diagnosis and things, uh, it makes us feel better. If you have any questions that I may be able to help you with, please ask them, comment, or you can always email me at um, fossilfindingfemale at gmail.com. Again, that's fossilfindingfemale at gmail.com. That's another cool one like that. 
but it's almost it's 15 minutes now so i'm gonna say adios thank you for joining me i hope your day's great and i'll see you tomorrow bye